I'm very happy to be here to honor this woman that everyone knows. Everyone feels, even though she would have been 97 years old today, everyone in America today, black, white, brown, it doesn't matter the color, they feel that they knew this woman personally. Why? Because she changed America. In refusing to give in to indignity and to give her seat and go to the back of that segregated bus, this humble woman helped to inspire a movement and change this country. The simple act of remaining in her seat on a city bus, she spent a she sent a powerful message. I am your equal. I am any man's and woman's equal. She refused to accept that she was a second class citizen. On that day, she knew that her cause was just. She had faith in her convictions, but also in the fundamental goodness of her fellow Americans. She showed us that minds can change, unjust laws can be repealed, and that in this country, anything and everything is possible. So let us live out this spirit in our everyday lives. Let's join with good organizations like the Rosa and Raymond Parks Institute to sustain her legacy of courage and inspiration. We are so proud of the ongoing work that uh, is being done by the Institute. The Institute really is a beacon of hope that encourages young people in our state and our country and around the world to reach to their highest potential through Rosa Parks' philosophy of quiet strength. She was quiet but powerful, courageous, and began uh, a movement that literally has changed who we are for the better. For the legacy of Rosa Parks is a living one, to struggle for freedom, to strive for justice, and to perfect our union. Happy birthday, Rosa Parks. By sitting down, you showed all of us how to stand up. And we stand today, all of us and all of you, in memory of her and knowing that our country today needs all of us to stand up.